Bloomberg's monthly confidence survey is out, and it is bearish. Debt worries in Europe have led to the biggest drop in investor confidence since 2007. Market experts from New York to London to Tokyo turned bearish on the global economy for the first time in six months. In fact, confidence sank 28% from January. Meanwhile, the outlook for U.S. stocks even more bearish. We asked investors if stocks will rise or fall in the next six months. Their level of confidence down 34% from January. However, while they're bearish on stocks, investors are bullish on the U.S. dollar. Confidence in the greenback shot up 5%. That marks the fifth straight month the dollar confidence has climbed. And joining us now on the phone with reaction to Bloomberg's confidence survey is Guy LaBas, strategist with Jenny Montgomery Scott. Guy, thanks for joining us on this snowy morning. Uh, smart money sounding less confident than a month ago. Is it a surprise given uh, all the concerns that are out there? Well, good morning, John and Deirdre. I, I think the biggest issue here is obviously Greece. That's weighing very heavily on investor sentiment, and certainly more so in the weeks when the survey was taking place. Now that some concerns over Greece have eased, I would venture to guess that confidence is a little bit greater than the, uh, the drop the survey might indicate. What about stock confidence? We saw a big drop on that front. What are you hearing from clients when it comes to their comfort level, investing in stocks versus investing in bonds right now? Well, what I'm hearing with our clients with regard to the stock market is that valuations in many cases seem to have gotten ahead of themselves, whereas with the debt markets, there's a growing sentiment that weak economic conditions are going to keep interest rates low for a long time. So I think that's what's translating into a little bit more optimism over the debt markets versus stocks. We also talked a little bit about what happened with currencies. More bullishness when it comes to the U.S. dollar, which again, if there's bearishness for stocks, maybe doesn't come as a big surprise. What do you make of the results in the confidence survey? Oh, once again, I'd kind of attribute the greater confidence in the U.S. dollar to troubles with Greece. You know, the challenges going on overseas are really having issues with impairing the value of the euro in particular. And that's created, since all currencies are relative, a little bit greater optimism over the dollar. All right, Guy, thanks for your reaction to that breaking Bloomberg confidence data. Guy LaBeouf, Jenny Montgomery Scott.